This is a Rogue Media Network podcast. Hey y'all, I'm April. And I'm Caroline. And this is your bloody happy hour. Caroline, are you ready for this? This is your newest guilty pleasure. It's the bloodiest part of your week. Did we say something about it also being happy hour? Show the end. Because we're about to be sipping on some murder. Bloody happy hour. Here we go. Hey, y'all. This is April. And this is Caroline. And we got a guest. And special got guest, guest. Special guest. Uh, April, who is our guest? Well, you have might have heard us talk about him, but he heard us talk about him, too. This is number one fan, Matt, if you've ever been at our live show. He's been at everyone in the back or front row. Even since $1.55 from the aliens coming to take you. Oh, yeah, you got to get close. Like almost like you're giving it a blowjob. It has been a long time. (laughs) Wait, (laughs) $1.55? Remember y'all did a podcast. I think it was $1.55 and exact change. You have to have that to go to some special heaven place oh is that the, very the heaven's gate oh, cult oh, oh, yes yes yeah, that was oh one that of, was, was like we had a live shows. show that was a dollar 55 no no no. <laughs> no 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 that was one of the podcasts y'all did <laughs> nice 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 okay so number one fan matt dixon he is the one that tatted himself up with a bloody happy hour um tattoo and so he's our special guest and he brought us you know my love language is chips and dip this is and he brought us some salsa. Pretty good salsa. It's Dixon's called pretty good salsa. Tell us about pretty good salsa. Yeah, so I literally just started making it like three weeks ago. I uh, just got registered at the courthouse, so I'm officially a business now. Oh, so what? Pretty um, have labels coming in. So again, Dixon's pretty good salsa. I had my nephew come over and he tried it. He goes, "Hey, Uncle Matt, this is pretty good salsa." <laughs> I He's said, like, fucking A. Sure. <laughs> I said, that's what it is, baby. And uh, everyone seems to love it. So I wanted to bring y'all some because I love you girls. Yeah, You're the best. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited. It's probably Caroline's dinner tonight. Absolutely. <laughs> it's usually absolutely. my dinner every night mm-hmm. that I have to make it. I literally have to go home and make more tonight. That's great. <sighs> and he brought us some Truly. Truly, we have these shots, and I mean, I can't wait till Thursday when we can just go all deep into all these things and talk about them and ask them all these questions. Yeah, yeah. It's Are you ready for great. your questions? Yeah, I've been ready for this question since day one. <laughs> it's like, in case they ask yeah, me this. I don't even care because obviously you know I will put all my business on the table. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, if you don't like R-rated podcasts, you might want to skip this one, yeah, all, the next heart. couple episodes, just because... But if you're here, we know that you know what to expect. Yeah. If yeah. you're new, what is today that we're doing, April? Oh, it's Tuesday. It's our quickie day. It's our quickie day. Yeah. I love quickies. So we tell what's in the news right now. Right quickly. now, there's so much. But okay. before this um, episode yeah, actually, is brought to you by... Better help, better help, better help, better help. What better thing to do in 2024 is get some mo better help. Mo better. Mo better. Uh, you know, if you're thinking about starting therapy, you should uh, try BetterHelp. It's completely online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. So you just have to fill out a brief questionnaire, get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. What is do you have to lose? Do you know that there's all these memes going on on Facebook that if you fall asleep to true crime documentaries or podcasts that you need therapy? So just go to BetterHelp. All you got to do is go to betterhelp.com slash bloody. That's H-E-L-P dot com slash bloody. You get 10% off your first month. Oh, Go do it now. Go, go, go. Good thing I... You're going to? With my psychiatrist... (laughs) The other day. <laughs> okay. So let's talk about what's in the news. Um, I got to go back on the Kansas City 3. Oh, I know. We yes. have updates that were just coming out yesterday, today, yesterday and today. Yes. 
And I'm sure by the time you hear this, more updates, but this is what's happening. We're recording on the first. So um, Kansas City 3, to recap, those are the three guys that were um, in the house when they watching the Kansas City game and over at a friend's house to a watch party, and they were found on the back yard in the snow. Two were in the snow dead, and one was on the back porch dead. The owner of the house didn't answer the door for days. Mm. DTF girlfriend down to find fiance, sorry, broke in through a window, I believe, mm -hmm. and found the bodies, called 911. When the police got to the door, what we know now is Jordan, mm -hmm. the owner of the house, answered it in his boxers. The renter, the renter of the, the house. Renter, the renter, 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 renter of the house. Um, in his whitey tidies or something. Else. Yes. In a glass of wine. A glass of wine. And said he'd been asleep for two days. Two whole days. It's a lot of sleep. Um, and when asked what happened to the guys in the backyard, he had no idea and just said, oh, well, I guess they froze to death. Yeah. So there's been neighborhood, The na one of the neighbors filmed a little video, and it just kind of shows him being handcuffed, but he was never arrested because there was not really a crime scene um, going on. didn't they say at the beginning, like, uh, there was no... Foul play. Foul play, yeah. Like, what? Well, and he also had two days to get rid of any foul play. And... It could have been. Did we... Because we talked about this two weeks ago, and you did the last... The quickie a couple yeah. weeks ago. And uh, we didn't know at the time he was a scientist, did we? We did. We did? Yeah. We knew he was a scientist because I was like, he's probably cooking up some good meth. As he... Well, I don't know what he cooked up, but he cooked something up. Yeah. So people were... Thinking the only way to make this make sense is drugs. Like there yeah. had to have been some drugs involved. Family was saying, no, the people aren't drug, ad drug addicts. But they said addicts. That does not mean that they did not dabble every once in a while in drugs when they're drinking. Facts. And what came out just yesterday or the day before is that Jordan, the guy who lived in that house, rented that house, has admitted himself into a rehab facility and a f close friend of the fam close family member said that this incident helped him to realize that he has had a real drug problem. This makes this story more believable because now we know mm -hmm. there were drugs. Mm -hmm. Jordan w went inside the house to sleep off his high where they probably just passed out outside. And so I was listening to... A, one of the um uh like doctor doctorate doctors that they interviewed mm -hmm. and said that that could have very well happened and after being out there for what an hour and a half your heart rate's going to go down your body temperature's going to go down and you will slowly slip into hypothermia and you said that on the first podcast well, you probably don't even remember real damn smart <laughs> but why did they go outside that's probably where they were got high and i can't remember what did you watch that game i can't remember if it was actually snowing it at that game when we when we talked about it we thought it was that game that would just happened we thought it was mm. the but it was actually the game before that who they played the Chargers. We thought it was the Dolphins game, but it was oh, the Chargers okay. game. Okay. So it, we, it was already like a week, whatever. But it was still cold, but I don't understand why they would go outside like without their jackets on. If they I went outside to get high. I don't I don't know what you do like what getting high makes you do. Maybe you get high outside because you're smoking something. Jordan just went home, went back in and got on the couch. They stayed out there, had a horrible reaction. And I passed know. out, but then the cold is what maybe took them down. I need I don't know. the toxicology they were and the autopsy yes. to get back. And they were saying fentanyl, feet. you know, can do different things. Sometimes you die instantly. Sometimes it's a slow little death. But yeah, we do need but that. But did he cook it up? Cook up there? Because didn't he make the dr like drugs for them in his little science lab or something? I don't know if that it's was alleged. Just, yeah. Oh, there's been so many things. But they around. haven't, I mean, I haven't seen any articles that said this was a known drug den or a known drug house. Yeah. And if nothing is sketchy in the house, I would I would think they would have said, oh, a lot of drugs have been found in the house. 
I mean, what kind of drug do you, unless, unless it was like LSD or some mushrooms or something where they like hallucinated and they thought they were walking into the heater room? I don't know. But what if it wasn't snowing when they were out there and it started snowing? Maybe they were, they were what out if there. they probably were making snow angels? Mm, maybe. And just passed out. I mean, I, it's something I would do. <laughs> Matt, what do you think? Yeah. Snow angels? Uh, yeah, probably. No. <laughs> I mean, I could, I would do that for sure. See? So I'm just, this is my newest little small obsession because I need a, I need answers. Um, but can you imagine, even if you just dabble in drugs, right? You wake up, I guess you can sleep for two days on certain drugs. I, oh. I mean, two whole days, you like just are comatose and then you just. Or did you wake hurt? up, smoke it and then go back to Maybe sleep? Maybe it was like an extra gummy or something. Like, like that dog that like, I heard about that took yeah. that well, cookie? <laughs> yeah, I don't know who that was. I don't know. <laughs> but even like if it's a meth, that makes you get up and do shit. Yeah, that's why I think it ha was like some kind of hallucinogen. I yeah. don't know. I don't know what makes you sleep for two days. I don't know either. And, if but you she are a wasn't drug sleep. addict and you, you've had an experience for two days of sleep, please reach out to us. We You're coming down. I will. I mean, Benadryl could probably make me sleep for two days. No, it's going to take a lot more for me to sleep. I can take a whole bunch of stuff and I'm still wide awake. Mm. Oh, okay. Sure, clearly, I'm going to go rehab. And now a word from our sponsors. Hey, I'm Blair. And I'm Brittany. And we're the host of By, By the, the Cover, Cover Podcast. Podcast. <laughs> we cover everything from mysteries, thrillers, Romance, chiclet, and even some smut. Don't forget the smut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're so excited to get this thing going and share this with you guys. We've been talking about this for months, and it's finally, finally happening. Yes. Special shout out to Rogue Media for helping us with this. <laughs> for sure. For sure. You can find us on Instagram at by the cover underscore podcast. You can also find us on Facebook and TikTok, so don't forget to give us a follow on those two also. And we are so excited to dive into some of our favorite books and share those with you. We can't wait. Hope you love it. Frozen, Frozen, Heroes, gonna tell you about Frozen, Frozen, Heroes, gonna tell you about Hey, I'm Zach. And I'm Mike. And we have a fantastic new podcast to tell you about. Bros, Foes, and Heroes. It's the two of us looking into the world of comics, breaking down some characters that you may have never heard of, and some that are just absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, so Zach comes up with a character each time, and uh, I go into it just completely blind. I don't know who this person is or what their abilities are or anything, and, and basically I guess we kind of go over their origin story. And just some of the ridiculous stuff that maybe, especially Golden Age stuff. Oh, Golden yeah. Age stuff is always the best. And we will make sure to highlight all of the shenanigans and just absolute weirdness yeah. of everything. Yeah, that's right. So subscribe today and uh, follow us on Instagram at Bros Bros Heroes. And if you don't, I know where you live. Not really, but please subscribe. <laughs> Bros and Bros and Heroes. Gonna tell you about Frozen, Frozen, Heroes, gonna tell you about... Moving on. <laughs> so moving on to Waco, Texas. We're going right now with something... Oh. Semi big that's going on in Waco that has taken my whole um, life over. Now you understand. Brain. Yes, yes, yes. When you have some a trial that's being live tweeted, you cannot, you can't stop. I know, I know. But it's yeah, it's different because it's and it's local and it's local and, and we covered it. Yeah. <gasps> oh, and then oh, see, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's names being dropped today. Okay, so if we go back to the David and Belinda Temple case, um, we did the guilty. I think that was during the guilty or innocent month. He okay. was basically like this 
like Scott Peterson. He was the coach, played football at SFA, um, coached at Katy, one of the Katy high schools. His wife was a teacher. She was nine months pregnant. He allegedly shot and killed her and their unborn son and acted like he had no idea what happened. He got away with it for eight, for eight years. Okay, so there, mm-hmm. that story, go back and listen to it. The best friends of the temples in that story were the Harlans, Tammy and Quentin Harlan. They testified against David. They knew that David killed Belinda, all that stuff. And just recently, David was actually sentenced April 2023 because there was multiple trials. Then there was COVID. Like it was verdicts were overturned. Then there was COVID. So he's actually finally sentenced April 2023. Wow. And this episode is episode. 50, I just looked 54. 54. 54 okay. Yeah. Um, so that is how we introduced Tammy Harlan. Then we find out. So then I know that they come to Midway and they are teaching and coaching at Midway High School. But that's all I said. I forgot all about Bunko and I forgot all about the the crime that happened here. Yeah. So in 2016 in Waco, Texas, there was an accident um, at night where one of our Baylor students, his name is David Grottenberg, him and his girlfriend were riding their bike home, their college students, from the movies. And David was hit by a car, tossed up by a car. Yeah. And died right there on the scene. Was it late? This was on Franklin. And it was late? It was later. It was like after 10. Yeah. Yeah. His girlfriend was with him. Now... We knew nothing about us. We saw it on the news, but it went unsolved for about two years. There were no suspects. All we knew is that there was a light colored, white colored, not a sedan and not a van. So you would think like a SUV, like a small SUV. So this girlfriend saw a white colored SUV, hit Mm -hmm. him, kept speeding, didn't break, didn't stop, didn't do anything, just kept going, okay? Two years later, in 2018, a letter, anonymous letter, goes to the police department and names a lady named Tammy Harlan, Mm -hmm. who is at this time is the special ed director at Midway ISD. She was. I didn't know. I knew she was administrative. Yeah. Yeah. And so she gets put on. She has to leave. Uh And she gets arrested, but she makes bail. Then we find out that a couple days after this wreck, she drops her car off at Marlin Walmart. Yes. And then and confesses to a co-worker that next morning she confesses to a co-worker frantic. I killed him. I killed him. I killed him. He had the article of David Grottenberg. This is what's all coming out right now in trial. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the article of David Grottenberg on her computer. And she says, I killed him. I hit him. I killed him. I think I killed him. So co-worker is like, wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? They go retrace the route from the party she was at. She was at a um, party with other co-workers where she is, was inebriated. Retraces her steps from that house where the party was back to her place and they see a sign that was knocked down and had a dent, like in the sign, not on the pole. So then she's like, oh, that's what I hit. I remember now. That's oh, what I hit. Is- then she feels better. <clears throat> then she takes her car to Marlin, gets it fixed. Why are you going to Marlin, girl? <laughs> yeah. Why are you parking your car in a Walmart. Walmart parking lot hmm. if you don't think something is a little hmm. sketchy? <clears throat> Anyways... Right now, all this is coming to head in trial. Her coworkers that she allegedly confessed to are testifying because they believed her. This coworker believed her when she says, no, I didn't hit the sign. I hit, I mean, I didn't hit the kid. I hit the sign. I was just drunk, but I feel better. God spoke to me and told, revealed to me that I hit the sign. 
So a little sweet coworker, maybe she's sweet, believed her and didn't do anything after that. So that's when the two years went by. Then it finally came out. There's an anonymous letter. And that's when she's arrested. She was supposed to go on trial, but COVID happened. It has been postponed and postponed and postponed. And it started this week. And today was all the tweets. that We, we have somebody in the courtroom live tweeting. Yeah. April's totally caught up. I'm glancing over them now. And does it say that the party she was at was in... Was that uh, the Glazeman's house? Yeah. In they were the HR. That was the HR. She was the HR director. That's literally right next door to my house. And I lived there. So. Really? Yes. <laughs> they were. Li- what does this have? Yes. That's why I was so it, into he was this. the principal. Right. Uh huh. And Woodway. Yeah. And I li- I just found your neighbors right now. Right now? Uh, no, well, no. Back then. Yeah, back then. Okay. That's... Okay. What? This, and what's crazy is like this summer, all the people that were involved with this, just about all of them, because one of them still works there that I know of, all retired because they knew and this trial and, was and, coming And these up. people, all of this is named. Like this yeah. is all public record. This is all out there. Mm-hmm. And it's it's a public trial. Anybody can go. So we're not like outing any. Whatever. People yeah. are testifying who we have heard of and stuff. So so it was a sad testimony from the girlfriend. They also <laughs> had another witness um, that was there at the wreck, and she testified seeing a white SUV car. She watched David get hit. Um, at that time, Tammy drove a silver SUV. So... In the dark, it is very easy to mm-hmm. get those two colors mixed up. So at first, I was thinking, is that going to help us or hurt us or whatever? Was any okay? Sorry, was any what? Was somebody with her that, with Paul. while she's driving? So there is, or we don't know a yet. room. There's a rumor. This is alleged that a guy that she was having an affair with at the time was in the car with her. That has not been put in any documents yet, but the trial's not over. And that that person helped flee the scene. And this happened in 2016. It goes or it comes out that she's uh, she gets arrested 2018 or 19. COVID happens. What why did it take from COVID to now? Did, Did they say what? Like delays or there was like they're trying to figure out what the charges were going to be brought against her. Well, all the trials that were postponing COVID are happening now. Okay, like even our little teacher that shot her kid that was supposed to happen in 2020. Yeah, was postponed. So we're still catching up on COVID trials. One other thing I thought was crazy was that I I knew she was out on bail or bond or whatever, Uh but. She's just walking in from at the outside, like going and sitting there and then leaves and goes home. In the, um, in the yeah, courtroom? Well, like she's not she's not convicted yet. I know. I'm I know. sure I she just, has. I like, never have seen that. I guess everyone I've watched, they've all been like, yeah, you can dress nice, but you're mm-hmm. going to go. You're in custody. Mm-hmm. Right. But she's not in custody. And I just think that's just strange. Yeah. I've never seen it. So I was like. She got a divorce after this and ended up moving the area. Her oh, and the guy she, she was Austin, having an affair. And then she, didn't she get a DWI there too? I don't. Okay. I don't know. That hasn't come out yet. Or. It, I don't we'll know. We'll see. We're not that far. So we're going to follow this case. Me and Caroline are actually getting up tomorrow. Are we going? Morning, you know and we are going. going. Yeah. I mean, it's right here. What the, Why would you not go? Why would you not go? I would. We would be a failure to all the listeners. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I know. So I'm going to kiss Tommy Witherspoon on the mouth for being such a great sweeter. But you record that? Huh? Yeah, Will you yeah. record that? <laughs> <laughs> and the mouth. We He's have to. Kept we me have going. to talk to him now. Okay. I saw you tweeted him, and he responded to your tweet. <laughs> and I was like, Ooh, that's so April I have two coworkers that were working for Tammy at the time, and, and I'm not going to say the coworker's name, but okay. this was November of 2018, and so this was after she had already been arrested. Okay. Okay. Okay, after she had already been arrested. And they had just found out that she had just 
was no longer there. Her and Side Piece were no longer there anymore. But they didn't know all the other stuff that's happening, like about the hit and run and everything, because it hadn't been public yet. They just thought yet. she, they're like, oh, well, she's just arrested? They thought it was because of having a side piece. Oh, you don't get arrested for that. No, they didn't know of their arrest yet. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Yeah, so they just thought she's not working at Midway. What's going on? So okay. they just oh, yeah. were reaching out. Got it. This is Did Tammy's it, response. No name. Wait, what was the message? They uh, just were like, hey, where are you? Checking where? on you. What's going oh, okay, on? Just okay, checking okay. on Sorry. you, basically. The response was, your text brought me to my knees in Thanksgiving, and I'm sending you both the same response because I'm not sure if you know or not, but your text came in with minutes of each other. And it was not by accident. It was exactly what I needed to read and at the exact moment you sent it. I am unable to share details of this current journey I find myself on, which in turn, Quint and the girls, so that's husband and the girls, are on uh, as well. But what I can share is that we have a God who has already won the battles and who lights his purposeful path in a manner that is for the good of all to glorify his name. Huh? Through your text, God has used you to nudge me to the truth, his truth and not the lies of Satan. And that's, and that I am loved, cared for, and valued, and not alone. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for responding to God's judge to reach out. To God's judge? What is Nudge. She? Oh. <laughs> I thought you said judge, too. I, I probably did. <laughs> I pray s soon I will be able to share in detail judge. the magnitude of your effect and blessing on me. I don't know anything she just said in that message. What is she trying to say? She's like, Basically, thank God that you reached out, reached out to me. You made me... Realize that I'm not lying and say, Satan's... What do people do when they go to prison? Oh, they get right with God. They get right with God and they become secondhand to Jesus. Uh-huh, mm -hmm. uh-huh. So I just thought that was funny. Is like, she's just like, oh. God's nudge, you... It was just classic, I guess. Which, that what is when you're supposed to get down on your knees. It, like, when you're going through the worst part of your life. Bottom. Yeah. <laughs> what are you that is just when say... you're supposed to surrender... But I would have been like, thanks for checking on me. Keep me in your prayer. Like, I would have just keep put me in a your heart. Prayers. <laughs> yes. Like, it just really went all out. Wow. And, and oh, and she's pleading not guilty. Uh, did you say what the charges are? Manslaughter. Are yeah, there's oh, wait. Like no, no, no. I got too many things in my. I know. I got too many cases in my head. I don't remember what the charges were. It is. But she can uh, do man, up to 20 years for trial. both. Yeah, it's just manslaughter. Yeah. Hit and run death. Um, the pair, So today they showed crime scene, like crime scene photos and the medical examiner and the mama stepped out oh during this gosh, time because she I did know. not want to see. Uh, I And you know what's really sad is that I kind of want to be there for when they show that stuff which mm. I have I'm real weird I'm, God. I have issues for the mom I know I know I know I know I know I, and, and this is the same way even for like the Caitlin Armstrong yeah. trial like when, when that, that whole family was there and you're just sitting right behind them and I was like oh gosh I have to move her, just, her, his it whole is, family's here it is, he was from Minnesota it is it just hits different She's charged with manslaughter and failure to stop and render aid in an accident involving death. Both second degree felonies punishable by up to 20 years in prison. He. And he's from Minnesota. Is from Minnesota. So like you send your kid across the. What's, what's this called? Country to go to college. And but, then you get the worst phone call ever. The worst phone call ever. And then you find out this may never get solved because they had no leads besides a white SUV. And if it wasn't for this anonymous letter. And we don't know who it's, it's they're not revealing. People think that it's the side piece. Oh, <laughs> all hell. But I don't know. Uh, I don't know the if bike, they'll reveal. And there's the bike that's over yes. there on the thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, we'll keep you updated with that. And then my last story is we're going to go to Pennsylvania. 
And we're going to talk about 32-year-old Justin, I don't know how to say the last name, Moan or Mohan? Oh, oh my God. He was taken yes. into police custody for first-degree murder, abuse of a corpse, and possession of an instrument of crime with intent. So... Um, the first degree murder was for his dad, Michael Mohn, M-O-H-N, yeah. 68 years old. Now, in a YouTube video titled Moan's Militia, wow. Call to Arms for American Patriots. In the video, he wore rubber gloves. What? And then he held his father's severed head up in a plastic <laughs> bag. And then again, later on, in a cooking pot in the plastic bags yes. twice <laughs> april tell them tell them what happened tell them what happened i had to s when i told you about it i had already watched the whole thing and i got the video oh the video yeah <laughs> caroline still so the vid the youtube video was put up for a couple hours but it was taken down but of course people like caroline and others have done like screen recordings yeah i want to i'll send it to you yeah. <clears throat> um now I'm on I'm for sure on the FBI list at this <laughs> yes. point. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> You're transferring evidence. Now, he referred to his father as a traitor in this video. And he called for the death of all federal officials as well as attack attacks on Joe Biden's administration. Mm -hmm. BLM movement, LGBTQ plus communities, Antifa activists. But the video was, of course, taken down. Now, what happened is his mom was gone all day and came home around 7 p.m. and saw her husband's body in the bathroom. Uh, and saw that her son was missing. And she also saw a machete and a kitchen knife in the bathtub where there was blood everywhere. So he used a machete and a kitchen knife. This was after what we know now is him and his dad were having a political conversation and argument, and he went crazy on his Wasn't dad. the dad like FBI or like a federal, yeah, federal, a worker federal agent? Yeah, or For worker. like 20-something years. So then he thought his dad was the enemy for um, being a federal worker. Right. Now. I, that's why I don't vote. You just don't vote. I'm you don't exercise judged, your rights. Like, There's a lot of people that don't. They just are like. <laughs> I give up. Yeah. I hate the drama. Just yeah. So it's so bad. Mm -hmm. Now, um, now in the bedroom next to the bathroom, they found his dad's head in a plastic bag inside a big like cooking pot. And in another room, they found rubber gloves that were bloody. So the gloves that he had on when he cut his dad and when he was in the video. They used cell phone location and found Justin 100 miles away in Fort Indiana Town Gap. Um, his car was found outside a National Guard base, and he had jumped over the fence and entered into the base. Still unsure they have not reported what his plan was to do there. He was arrested and arraigned at 4 oh, a.m. that night. he was calling night. for people to, like, come and shoot all the – kill everybody. Yeah. Yeah. So – with, but were those his friends or not his friends? Like, it was. did he think that was part of his militia? Or was I, he trying to go and... Apparently, this boy been on 4chan, which if you don't know what that is, that you, you don't need to know because it's just, like, dark web stuff and, like, all these just... Apparently, the FBI knew about this guy. Oh. And they were kind of, I guess, maybe watching him, but maybe not that closely. That's just what I have seen. Yes. Places. I don't know. It's a whole thing. Um... He had graduated from Penn State University with a degree in agribusiness management, which he paid for by student loans. He was pissed and has filed a lawsuit in August of 2022 because he this lawsuit was for more than $10 million. He is suing the United States because his degree did not lead to better jobs or higher pay. But rather, it disadvantaged him because he has been perceived as an overeducated white male and the affirmative action policies hurt his chances at a career. I'm about to sue, too. Chance <laughs> <laughs> of being a dumbass. Um, it oh also said that 
because he had an obligation to make payments on the student loan led to mental anguish, emotional distress, and a financial strain, and a lack of savings and debt, all that impacted his quality of life. This is in his document. Yes, I have all of those effects from my past life. You don't have student loans. Emotional distress. Emotional, intentional, <laughs> emotional distress. You should sue Dirty Chad. I think I might. <laughs> But this was the fourth time he has tried to sue the United States oh, government. No. And all four claims have been rejected by the courts. Um, I don't think you're going to be successful in your suing, dude. I mean, how do you name the U? I'm suing the United States. You just do it. You know, you just do he it. He even appealed it. And then it was upheld by the appellate court. Like, this is just showing you a little bit about how crazy he was. He has been called an incel, which he has to be because he was 32 years old and he has lived at home with mom and dad since. Um, that red flag. Red flag. <laughs> That's the one red flag that Matt does not have. No, I got out when I was 18. <laughs> Uh, let's see what else. Okay. He said in his video, he said he was blaming the Biden administration for the destruction of the U S economy and that the federal government government of America has declared war on American citizens and the American States. American is rotting from the inside out as far left woke mobs rampage our once prosperous cities, turning them into lawless zones. These are like some of his like Facebook posts where he has zero to one likes. <laughs> Cause he's an incel. Oh, it just kind of goes on and on and on. So, um, he has a whole manifesto, but I don't know that I've seen the manifesto yet. Anybody with the manifesto, but he also hates Trump. So people were trying to like tie him to Trump, but he's also talked bad about Trump in his Facebook post. His, and they said that his parents, I guess, were more left. And so he hated like his parents for that. Well, but then he wasn't right either. He hated all yeah. government entities. Yeah. Crazy. Well, when you go live on YouTube and you show your dad's decapitated head in a bag and then you put it in a pot. And yeah. what's so bad is like he's just going to probably go to an institution. Do, where, do they even have institutions? No, they just send no. him to jail or prison for... You Remember Every we time about, we bring I up know, an institution, I you know. say the same thing. I we have know. multiple in the whole world. Well, That's I, why someone like Dexter needs to check, check <laughs> find in. Him. Yeah. Um, the... Are, is yeah. That, that's okay. It. Jennifer Crumley is the mom of the Oxford... Michigan uh -huh. school shooter kid who oh, yeah, killed yeah, yeah. four yeah. people and injured seven others. Um, there, that trial's going on right now, and let me just tell you, it is wild because th her defense attorney is oh, yeah. a. I, I don't even. She's real. She's spastic. Mm -hmm. She's loud. She's animated, and she got so flustered at one point during this trial. She's like standing up on her laptop, like going over text messages. Correct, correct. This is correct. She's like, oh my God, oh my God, I can't get it to work. Oh, I'm just gonna kill myself. This thought, is what she says during during trial, during as she's questioning a witness. I thought the I thought she had like a famous attorney. Somebody fa or somebody that No, it's the it's the one who defended Harvey. No, uh, the gymnast gymnastics coach. Oh, the other pervert. Yeah. Larry yeah. Nasser. Nasser. Okay. Yes. But anyway, the mom, so she's on trial because of him, like yeah. being, she's actually being charged with four, uh, with manslaughter, involuntary, involuntary manslaughter, four charges, um, because of her not paying attention to him, whatever, all yeah. of his needs. Yeah. Um, she took the stand today and we'll talk about that more. Also, Murdoch, they had the, they had the mm. juror here, juror hearing, um, which that was the Monday was the best day listening to that eight hours of it. I loved every second yeah, of it. Go back to that. Every second of it. Courthouse. I mean, yeah. Courthouse Becky get up on the stand. She lies. She's not credible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nope. But that doesn't mean that he's innocent. So the judge ruled 
No trial. No, no new trial. He's still guilty. Um, and apparently people are like, she set it up to where it's going to be able to go on appeal, but she apparently is, she was, the judge was like, I'm serious. No trial. Like, leave it alone. Like, she knew her shit. Yeah. Like, she had researched. She's like, I've read the whole transcript of the whole six week Damn. trial. And I don't even read a book. So, I mean, it's yeah. a whole bunch of stuff. So, murder all, no trial, basically. <sighs> no new trial. Yeah. Mm -mm. Good. Mm -mm. Nope. Good, good, good. Okay. That's a lot of news. Yeah. There's, there's, it's been, it's been a, yep. mm -hmm. so good, good stuff. That is all we have for the news. You're going to get a full episode Thursday. You're also going to get a full episode on Patreon this week. So if you're not on Patreon, get on Patreon because the story is, it's a little crazy. It's mind bender. Oh. All right. And it is unsolved and it's still a missing persons case. So we might need you to help us solve it. All right. Get your uh, printer ready so you can print out that picture and of put on the person. Put on your steering wheel. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Matt, you want to tell them bye? Um. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Don't forget to stay aware, stay alive. Hey, can I say this part? Always be DTF. Yeah. Yay! Love it. Love it. <laughs>